All right, guys, so let's take this MAC 224 blending brush with that taupe shade from the Lorac Pro palette. And we're going to be putting that into our crease dusting wipe, windshield wipers motion. Sorry, guys, I got a little tongue twisted right there. So we're going to be just going back and forth, back and forth and blending. We're going to keep adding this taupe color until we get the gradient that we want. And you guys want to be putting that into the inner corner brow bone, whatever you want to call that, the nose bone. And um, you want to drag it out because we are going to go for a dramatic look today. And then I'm going to be taking that color Sable, which is a darker chocolatey color. It's more of a deep chocolate color. So I'm going to be sketching out this crease. And I'm just going to be basically mapping out where my crease is. You know, I'm going to keep blending and blending and blending, going down that nose bone or whatever you want to call that. And you make sure you guys blend, blend, blend. Then this is the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. As you guys know, I'm just going to be cleaning this up just so that way our cut crease looks like it could cut a bitch. All right, guys, that's what it truly is going to be. We're going to be wigging out the front of the brow or the inner corner of the eyes, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to be winging it out so that way this can be a much dramatic, a much more dramatic look. Sorry, guys. Tongue twisted again. You already know me. Then we're going to go back in with the white shadow. And we're going to be packing that baby onto the lid. So in this whole look, guys, on the eyes, it's only three shades. The shades are white, taupe, and sable. Then we're going to take that sable chocolate color and we're going to be putting that in the outer corner of the eye. Um, as you can see, it kind of, it looks really pretty because it kind of fades into the cut crease. And that's what I wanted. And I wanted to try something different, guys, because I always do a cut crease that's winged out. But I wanted to try a cut crease today that's kind of like a half cut crease, if you call that. <laughs> but anyway, so we're going to curl our lashes up because lashes that curl downwards ain't cute. Then we're going to be taking the Vegas May Grand Glamour lashes. As you guys know, these are my favorite lashes. I spent a lot of money on these because I always stock up. But anyway, guys, so the lash adhesive that I love to use is the duo green one the one that comes with like the little wand it's the best one the best now I'm going to be going in with my Mario Badescu rose water I'm going to be prepping and hydrating my skin with it I really love it you can't go wrong with this you can find that Ulta for seven dollars you can't beat that price guys and I love it it's really good for your skin so I'm going to be taking this professional. This is going to smooth out all my pores and fill, it, fill them in as well. And it's going to give my foundation a nice base to sit on. So guys, I love this primer. I never used it before until probably like a week ago. And this whole week that I've been using it, I love it because I'm very oily. Like super oily. And this primer is actually really good to control my oil. Anyway, now I'm going to take the Inglot Durline and I'm going to be using the Anastasia Cream Contour Palette and I'm taking that peach pinky shade to color correct. The reason why I'm color correcting is because you, you see where my pimples are. They do tend to get dark when I put contour. So I'm going to be trying to cancel that out and I'm going to be setting that pinky corrector shade with the Milani prep set and go translucent powder and this is going to be a Milani foundation review I love this foundation um, I need to go in and get a darker shade I need to go in, I'm in 07 right now and it's perfect shade for my face but it's just not a perfect shade for my neck and my shoulders 
Um, I recently went out in the sun and I got darker. I didn't notice until after I filmed and I look at the pictures. But I'm still going to upload this video for you guys because I haven't had a video for you guys in a long time. And I'm going to be getting the shade. I think hopefully they have 08. When I went to go check, they didn't have it. And I'm, I have 07 right now. That's the one I'm using today in this tutorial. I'm going to be bouncing it in with the Beauty Blender. It's the most flawless way I love to use with my foundation. So don't worry, guys. I'm going to match this baby up with my neck. It'll be a little off, but we're going to live, guys. Life is going to go on, and we're going to live. Thank you so much, guys. And then I'm going to be taking this cream concealer from Anastasia in 6.0. I'm going to be putting that all around my hairline, the temples of my forehead. And I'm going to be swiping down my jawline. No, not my jaw. <laughs> my cheekbones. Sorry, guys. And I'm going to be pouncing that with the beauty blender and blending it in. And you guys, the reason why I do this is because... One, the foundation's a little off, so it's going to make the foundation look, I mean, yeah, it's going to make my foundation look way better. Um, but I really like that one to bronze. And that one is in the 6.0 in the Anastasia. And then this is the Glamouflage Concealer from Hard Candy. You can find this at any local Walmart. And I really like this concealer and the consistency. It said it's a heavy-duty full coverage, which it really is. It's really full coverage. The only thing is that it oxidized on me and it got yellow. So I had to go back in and correct it later on with some powder. I'll show you that on the camera. And right here to clean up the edges, you know, we all got to clean our edges. I'm um, using that concealer to clean up the eyeshadow. This is one trick you guys can do. Or you can use a wipey makeup remover wipe, whatever you want to call it, and swipe up and it will clean and do the same thing. But I like to just use the concealer. And I'm going to be setting with my L'Oreal, L'Oreal, my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder under my eyes. And then the rest of my face, I'm using that Milani Prep Set and Go Translucent Powder. And you guys, it's amazing. It's awesome. You guys need to go out and get it. I got mine at my local Walmart, and it really helped. I couldn't believe how good that powder was. So anyway, now I'm taking this Benefit Hula Bronzer, and I'm going to be taking my Bedellium Tools Brush just to carve out these cheekbones. And then we're going to be taking our MAC 135 brush with that Hula, same Hula color. And I'm going to be bronzing up the face. The reason why I go in, and I go in with this shade twice is because... I like to use the Bedellium tools to carve out my cheekbones, and this one will blend that carvation. That way we don't have too much of a harsh line. Then I'm going to be taking my Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in Medium Deep. And I know, guys, it's really excessive to go in with, like, three bronzers, but we're going to live. It's okay. It's just what I love to do and how dramatic I like my contour. Now this is another bronzer. This is the third bronzer. I'm blinding you guys. This is MAC Give Me Sun. I really love it. Now I'm taking my L'Oreal. Why do I keep saying L'Oreal? I'm taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder to bake under my contour. It's been a minute, guys, that I've done a, a voiceover. As you can see in the video, I keep messing up. I'm dropping things, and I don't even know how to talk. Anyway, this is the Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow Highlighter. It's amazing. Awesome. It was expensive. I think this highlighter was probably like $50. Um, but I will say it's really worth it. Um, if you guys are looking for kind of like a dupe for these ones, um, I would say the Anastasia one is really good because it comes with four shades. Um, I don't like the Anastasia one that much. I find that it emphasizes my texture really really bad and but it could just be my skin too I'm gonna try it out my skin's actually clearing up as you can see in the video so I'll try out the those new illuminators that 
the that glow palette from Anastasia soon and I'll give you a true review on them so then this is the Anastasia starlight powder this is the the illuminator this one was I think um, limited edition that's why the glow palettes are here now but I'll give you a true glow palette re review soon it's just when I tried it I had a lot of pimples so and um, it didn't look that great on me but obviously because I had pimples now I don't have that much so I'll give you guys a review soon let me know if you guys want a review so I'm just basically using the same shadows on my crease it, it's the same shadows that are going on my lower lash line and I'm just taking that pro pencil from Anastasia putting that in the waterline because do you guys see how bright and awake my eyes look now but anyway so I'm taking my L'Oreal telescopic I like to use this one because it separates my lashes that's what I love but it doesn't give me this thick kind of look I want so that's why I'm going in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This came in like a little travel baggy. Alright guys, so my lips are American Doll from Anastasia. That's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys like this tutorial. To finish this look off, I'm going to be setting my face with the Mario Badescu Rose Water. And voila, there you guys go. You guys have this beat face. Please follow all my social media. will be linked down below. And please subscribe guys.